Hi people, good morning. It is a horrible misery of a morning. It is damp, drizzly, really, really, really dark. It's what now? It's half past eight and it's just about got light. We are going over to Rowden, our science farm. We've got one of the silage trailers on the back, half loaded with plastic. We're going to go over and top it off with any of the plastic, bale cord, net wrap, anything like that that um, we use over Rowden. In the last six months, it's all bagged up, ready to go, stick it in the trailer and then take it up to BG Pierce um, this morning, get it weighed in and recycled. I take about two loads a year up to Pierce's. Um, obviously for farm assurance and that you have to show that you are responsibly recycling your waste, uh, which we do. So we've got, <clears throat> on the bottom of the trailer, we've got all the fertilizer bags, because they're quite light. We always put them in the bottom, and all the bags of like, bale plastic, we'll put on top, because they're really heavy. They'll keep everything nicely weighed down in the trailer. Bill's coming over with the telehandler. Um, we'll meet you over with the trailer. Should be a fairly quick job, load it all up. Take it on to Pierce's a little bit later this morning. We'll do all the yard work first, get the cows bedded up, make sure they're happy. So there's the tractor and trailer. Phil's got the manor too. We've got a load of stuff over there to um, chuck in. Here is the man with the plastic. <laughs> oh, just to be self. Oh, Nothing. Instructions, <laughs> Step two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's everything in here cleaned up. So we try and keep it separate. So like this one here, for example, is all bale net, a little bit of cord, and the rest of them plastic, plastic. That's plastic. There's a bit of plastic pipe in there as well. And then what Phil's got down there, I think there's another bag of net, and then mainly um, sided sheet. So we'll start loading these up. Heavy ones. These are the big heavy ones. They've got a degree of water in them, which is a bit upsetting because you end up paying to recycle water. In you go, sir. You notice I pick the bags up underneath with the forks. And don't put the forks through the loops. And that's because as you tip them in, they sort of fall onto the front. It's very fashionable, Phil. <laughs> that's, um, that's quite a heavy lot, that last couple of bags, isn't it? Yeah, that'll keep it, keep it weighed down. <laughs> Don't know what that was, but this is going to have it. Right, head for home, do some yard work, and then after coffee we will take this lot up to Pierce's. I've got a van so far up my backside, He's nearly in the trailer. I don't know why people get so close. If I had to stop and go backwards, I would look in my mirror and I'd think, oh, that's right, there's no one behind me. I'd go straight into it. I think as I saw him come and pull up behind me. Our John Deere dealer, uh, Masons, our area rep, Brad, came in this morning and asked if we wanted to have a go with a demo 150, one of the new ones, so a 6R 150. Uh, which is a four cylinder tractor. So we should be having a go with one of those soon. Should be good. So yeah, I'm just taking the plastic. There's a couple other things going on today. We've got Andy and John are weighing sheep. They're hoping to draft out some fat lambs to take uh, at the end of this week. Craig's currently, I think he's servicing Big Boots, a 6620 that's on the feeder wagon. Um, the feeder wagon has got all new knives in it. Um, I think that one is ready to go once we dump some grease in it so we can start putting these cattle in the shed on a bit of a TMR diet. Phil's been out and about checking slug traps. So we put some slug traps down yesterday in our arable ground at home um, just to see if we have a slug problem or not. So uh, yeah, there's various things going on today. 
one job John mentioned doing um, yesterday was uh, we really ought to clip the backs of the cattle in the shed. And yeah, it's just a really miserable, damp, wet, rainy day. Right, we've just tipped our plastic out. There's a bit of a system here, you've got to come in on the way bridge, you find one of the yard guys, um, tip it wherever they want it, back on the way bridge and out. <coughs> you're going to see someone in the office go, oh, I'll pick up some bags. They've got a brand spanking new 6215, one of the new ones here beside me on the way bridge. Hell of a thing. 6R215 Masons. Look in the business. Right, we're off. Had a cat truck with a couple of mates, which is good. Got our new dumpy bags in tow. Also very good. They got some lovely tractors in their yard at the minute. Um, they bought one of the new 185, so 6R185, which is sort of like the new mid-tier model, uh, which they really, really enjoy. Um, they've also got a 6R215, as they was parked beside the Weybridge. They've got that on loan from Masons whilst they're waiting for the delivery of their new 6R250. They traded that one in for a new one. Right, I am now back to the yard. Just gonna take this trailer off. I really like this Fleming trailer. Pulls really nice, holds a lot of stuff, some beautiful tires. A couple of things about it I don't like. The paintwork isn't the best quality, especially inside, it's lost nearly all its paint. And I know trailers wear because you use them and everything, but the paint on this compared to the paint on these just isn't that good. I mean, to be honest. Other things, we always leave these trailers tipped up so the water can come out. You can see they've got, they've got brackets on the front there. On this one, there's one made on the trailer already. But to get this into the right place, you have to go underneath a tipped body of a trailer. So you are relying completely on the fact that the hydraulics are not going to fail. They shouldn't. But how is that, you know, safe? Well, I'll take this out and put this up in the right place. I've got the trailer a bit high. Let's put it down a bit. So I've got to put this up whilst being nearly underneath the trailer, like so. Put that pin back through it and then let it down. That keeps it in the air. It's a great idea to keep the trailers up in the air, keeps the water out of them, but you shouldn't have to go underneath. That's just not good. Hi right guys, so I'm currently here editing the video that you're watching, and we've had Crawford's advert come through after he won the 10k sub race. So if anyone doesn't know, me and Crawford had a sub race initiated by him. First one to 10,000 subs gets to put a 30 second advert in the other person's videos. Crawford won, he won by like 13 subscribers or something. I was so close to getting back uh, there at the end. But anyway, he's done his advert. So here it is. Hello, I'm Crawford from Crawford's Farm. I just pipped Josh to 10,000, literally by 13 subscribers. So here's my wee 30 second advert. <laughs> One last thing, please go and subscribe to Josh because he was up for the challenge. It was a really good race to the last second. Scotland just beat the English this time, but we'll have another challenge in the future. So go and subscribe somewhere down here and like the video as well. This is Lulu, by the way. I've probably gone over the 30 seconds, sorry, Josh, but this is an advert for your channel. Cheers, see you in the next challenge. I just want to say a huge thank you to Crawford for putting the sub race on. I had great fun doing it. We've all gained um, quite a lot of subs and following from doing it. It was a great idea, really enjoyed it. Really hoping we can go and visit Crawford next year. Um, after we get married, possibly want to go up to Scotland for a bit of a mini moon. So uh, I haven't told him that yet, but hopefully that is on the card. So uh, back to the video. And don't forget, sub to Crawford as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sheep. What's the difference between the two groups? Um, nothing. Yeah. No good? No, I bought that plan. Yeah. Go for plan B and just hope. 
Hope. Hope. Yeah, Hope is plan B. Yeah, I like Hope. Well, we'll leave this open and see if they do run in here by themselves. They probably won't. We'll have to go get the dogs in, but see what happens. We've got Head Shepherd Corporal Jones. <laughs> no, that's a title I don't want. <laughs> It's getting a little bit windy here. I've been kicked out of the truck. I'm told to stand here and when sheep come, point them that way. So that's what I'm doing. But basically, I'm over helping Andy and John this afternoon. Rex is on holiday, the shepherd, if you haven't watched any of the videos before. Uh, our shepherd Rex is away on holiday. So Andy is deputising for him and he's roped in John to help and now he's roped in me to help. Did that old thing where he says, Josh, you'd love to come and help with sheep this afternoon, wouldn't you? which isn't a question, it is, Josh, you are coming to help with sheep this afternoon. So uh, hopefully a load of lambs are going to come down this road at some point soon. And we're going to put them on some uh, grass that we reseeded earlier on this autumn. It's getting away quite well. John Bowman's ringing me. So yeah, we drilled some grass seeds that have grown like stink. And um, they're getting, you know, there's going to be far too much there in the spring if we don't graze them off. So. What we're going to do is hit him with a mob of sheep. There's a hundred and something lambs here, and they're one hectare plots, grass seeds, and there's eight of them, I think. So we're going to put the lambs in there for 24 hours at a time, just move them plot to plot each day. That's the plan. Thank you, sheep. Why didn't, why didn't you tell your mates to keep coming? Idiots. Come on, one of your sheepdogs is here. Well, that's right, it's 50%. Ah. They get on in the back here. Yeah, lovely. Loads of leg room in here, look. Oh. Oh, there's one, there's two. That's right. Do you want any Doritos? It's not a trick question. No, there's... There's a pack of Doritos back here. Oh. It's on the, on the hay bale. I thought I was lining myself up for a joke there or something. Why is there a pack of Doritos? In? No one knows. <laughs> Well, none of us know. Nope. It should be on that series, you know. No one's claimed ownership of the Doritos. That'll do, that'll do. <laughs> My brain was totally ready for that. Really? My body <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> I'm all of your tongue. Worst thing to I me. hate them because you either, if you don't wear them, you get wet, and if you wear them, you sweat and you get wet. So either way, you get wet. Yeah. You either get a little less wet. And, and then you sound like that sweat. when you walk. Yeah. Way! Yeah, whoa! Forward. Right. For, Forward about. Well, it's halfway in the truck. Six the... inches. Right. Yep. Whoa. All right. Back a little bit. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> you don't mind. <laughs> it's an annoying sound. No, I don't, I'm not aware of the procedures. Do you load the top first or the bottom first? Uh, top. Top. I'll run right up, John. What? I'll run right up. All right. Okay. Magic. That looks a bit broken. Yeah. We tried to fix it, but... I think you tried to fix it, didn't you? I did fix it. Yeah. What f***ed it up is the gate. It's under there. Oh, oh yeah. That's what f***ed it up. Plus we just wormed it, we should put back in there for the day. Oh, that's true. Resistant worm. Hmm. Keep coming. Uh, it's annoyingly good. Sorry to disappoint. It would have been fantastic content if you tipped it in the ditch. <laughs> in the top deck. Oh, you kept going in? Of course, you can have a lot in there. But someone left the bit out the front. <laughs> so just going down the bottom. <laughs> I've got 60 on the top. No, you haven't. Now, don't you just love a gate that is hung perfectly like that? Oh. Right, all aboard HMS Victory. Right, we are back from helping Team Sheep. 
John has just gone down there with the 54, 55 Fergie. He's got the pallet forks in the yard. He also wants a bucket, so he's gonna put the bucket on, put the pallet forks in the bucket. And then we're gonna head down to where the um, calves and stores we've got down the bottom of the farm are. Move their two feeders that we feed with the John Bowman home mix every day. Um, and then he's gonna try and level off the ground around where they've been eating a silage feeder. So I got a couple bags of creep in the Pioneer. We'll take that one down. And uh, when he's ready, help him move them and uh, set up the feeders and feed them. Right, we're in the field we want to move the cow to. Craig's down here doing the hedges. He's having a committee meeting with John. Soon be time for these boys to go in with the sheep. I think the platform ones are the science ones the rams have gone in already, but not the farm ones yet. Go, cows, cows, cows! Hooray! Right there, John, grab the other feeder so I can feed them all together. Otherwise, they will be fighting over one trough. Which is never good. Right, so we fed them. Of course, they've all buggered off up there because it's new field. So it's there for when they find it. Craig's doing a nice job on the hedge. There's some of the wheat, not looking too bad. Me and Phil put out some slug traps uh, yesterday. He reported back there is a presence of slugs, so we might have to put some pellets on. I won't be doing that today anyway. Right, wagon is all on and hooked up, so tomorrow when we want to feed them, it's all ready. I think we just need to stuff a bit of grease into it, unless Craig has done it, I don't know. Um, I'll ask him when I see him. But yeah, wagon's on. There's new knives inside. Oh, I can't see the windows dirty. But there's new knives, so hopefully it's going to chop up the bales really well. Um, also made a bracket for control box, so that is fixed in there rigid, which is good. It'll be married up to this one for the winter. It'll be a good job. I'm going to get the pusher upper, technical term, and go and push the feed in for the cattle so that they can uh, they can reach all of it. And then tomorrow, when we want to feed them with the wagon, they've got a clean slate to start. I need you. Oh. Just about. They've done a good job of eating up these bales, these cows. Obviously got a good appetite. We've got a new tire on our pusher. So that'll do a good job, hopefully. Get it there, so it's just touching the ground, start spinning. And then you just flick the bit you want to push in. These guys at the end haven't got any. I'll have to move some up. Everyone has now got some food for the evening. I'll keep them all going till tomorrow, and then we were uh, feeding properly. Hello, right cow. That's fish. That one's called fish because it managed to hook itself with a snappy clip through the lip when he was a really young calf. He's quite friendly. Right, I need to do some paperwork for about 20 minutes, and then I had a puncture on my truck last week because I got a new tyre um, that I need to put to the underside of my truck as a spare. So I'll do that before I go home. Right, now I have myself. Back of my truck here. Oh, dog. I got a dog. A new tyre, because I had a blowout on the way home the other night. Had to put the spare on. It's not seen daylight in a while. So, uh, get this one out and put it back on the underside of the truck. So I got the back of my truck back. Now, like most other trucks, same as this one, there's a hole here, see? You, know, you put this bar in. And as you follow the instructions today, turn left, the chain will come down. Yeah, and that's me spare tyre on the bottom of the truck. Huh? I bought a cheap one because the one that was on the spare underneath that I used, it's actually quite a good tyre, so I thought we'll leave that one on. Put a cheap one as a spare if I ever need it, if I ever get in trouble. There you go. Yeah, very helpful, aren't you? Very good. Right, that's going to be everything for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, 
give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Completely free, big red button down below. Just go and hit it. Links in the description to all my socials and merch if you want any of that. Hats, hoodies, shirts, whatever. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you on another video very soon. Cheerio.